Hello, and welcome to this in-depth analysis of the features and specifications of the Embraer ERJ145 and the Bombardier CRJ200. But before we begin, please remember to click that like button and hit subscribe to stay on top of the latest airplane analyses. Okay, so the ERJ145 and the CRJ200, definitely both regional jets. That we can establish right off the bat. But where do these planes really differ? What features makes one better than the other? To understand this, we first must look into the specifications of each of these two planes. Let's begin with range. The ERJ145 boasts a range of around 1,550 miles, while the CRJ200 can only reach 1,345, a range difference in excess of 200 miles. Just to give you an example of what this means, an ERJ145 could make a non-stop flight from Houston to New York, which clocks in at 1,420 miles, leaving the CRJ200 in the dust by almost 200 miles. Because of this considerably large difference in range, with both aircraft still maintaining a reasonably small difference in size and capacity between themselves, Airlines opting for the lesser range CRJ200 may be at a disadvantage in terms of reachable destinations. Moving on, we now quickly rapid fire to the more specific technicalities of each aircraft. Length ERJ145 takes the longer aircraft towards, surpassing the CRJ200's 88 feet with its own length of 98 feet. However, the CRJ200 actually does have a reasonably longer wingspan than the ERJ145 at 70 feet, compared to the ERJ145 66 feet. But here's perhaps the most curious difference in specifications between these two aircraft. Ever notice how the windows on all commercial Embraer aircraft seem to be larger and more widely spaced from each other when compared to other manufacturers? Now think about that and the fact that the ERJ145 is a whole 10 feet longer than the CRJ200, yet they both have capacities for 50 passengers. We'll leave you to think about what that implies. Now finally, let's talk features. In terms of passenger comfort, the ERJ145 boasts a higher level of seat space due to the fact that the seating arrangement of the ERJ145 is three abreast while the CRJ200 uses a four breast configuration. This positive effect, however, may be negated by the ERJ145's tendency for loud cabin noise from the engines. The CRJ200s are more attentive to that aspect. Comparing the lavatories, the ERJ145 is the victor due to its generally more spacious bathrooms. Also, the CRJ200 has a poorly designed toilet system. From the pilot side, the CRJ200 has a very advanced and yet simple to understand control panel, greatly simplifying the job of the pilots. The CRJ200 also takes a considerably longer amount of runway to achieve takeoff, but has good acceleration upon takeoff. That can counter that effect. The CRJ145 is not equipped with auto throttles, which simply let the pilot give the aircraft systems the speed and other specification at which the plane should fly, and without these auto throttles, pilots are usually left feeling more in control. As a con, though, the ERJ145 has a confined and loud cockpit with a generally poorly working flight management system when compared to other manufacturers. So that's about it for this analysis. You're probably still wondering which aircraft is an all-around better plane. After an in-depth analyzation, we can conclude, certainly, that the ERJ145 takes the gold in the passenger-related aspects of the aircraft, mainly comfort, while the CRJ200 surpasses the ERJ145 from the cockpit side. So which plane is better? It's up to you to decide which aspect matters more. Thank you for watching, and please, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with other airplane enthusiasts like you. Bye!